Creating a system activation. Activations are created by inputting information through an online form in the Enphase online installer portal called Enlighten. You can find this at enlighten.enphaseenergy.com. So we'll head there now. Log into Enlighten with your Enphase login credentials. I'll log in with my user credentials, User1, and my training company, EnphaseTraining.com. To create the activation, find and click on the Add New Systems button. Once in the Activations page, if you're on the traditional Activations form, we want to use the new Activation form, which gives us access to the latest Advanced System Configuration options. To switch to the new view, I'll find the click Switch to New View button, which will bring me to the new form. To create the activation, you'll have to complete all of the required fields, the ones with the asterisk, in the online form. Optional fields can be completed later to fill in customer and site information. I'll begin the activation form by first putting in the system name. The installer reference is an optional field for a unique company reference identifier I'd want to use to easily find my system later on. I'll use the unique customer number used in our CRM or Customer Relationship Management System. I'll continue by filling in the other fields. Owner type. In our example, it's going to be residential. My choices are residential, commercial, or other. Financing type. Cash if it's an owner purchased or finance system. PPA or lease if the system is being financed where the financing company then owns the system. Or my last choice is other. Some other optional fields. Construction type. In this example, this is going to be a new home installation. I'll estimate the age of the roof. I'll say 15 years. Type of roof, which is going to be installed on, which is an asphalt shingle roof. Now I want to input all of the owner details, first and last name, email, and phone number. A quick note, if you select it as a financing type, PPA or lease, the PPA provider or leaseholder will be the owner of the system. You'll need to put in the email address provided by the PPA or leasing company. The site where the system will be installed is the host site. So I'll now fill in the host detail information. After filling the customer information in, I want to next put in the system information data. The address, city, state, and zip code are all required fields. Note that when you enter the address, a map view will be displayed. Next, enter the grid connection type. This is the type of utility program which the system is going to be tying into, such as a standard net metering program, a feed-in tariff, or even a net billing tariff like California's NEM3 program. Also required is the grid interconnection application date. Next, indicate if you have PTO or permission to operate yet. If you do, click yes. If no, click no. Later in the installation, this information will be used to leave the system enabled or disabled after the installer finishes commissioning the system. This field is changeable at any time. The next required field are estimated system size in DC and the module make, model, and type that you'll be using on the site and the module power rating in DC. Use the drop-down menus to select your module information. Next, some installation details. Use the drop-down to select the right microinverter attachment type. In our example, it'll be rack mounted on a roof, and this will be a fixed roof mount. We're not using a mechanical tracker or anything like that. Next, the solar and storage data. Is there any third-party storage installed, pre-existing or even new in the system? Yes or no? Now you'll have to have your customer information in hand and using the drop-down menus, input the required date information. 
Using the calendar, you can move backward and forward in the calendar by day, month, and even year, and then pick the appropriate dates. The contract sign date, permit approval date, permitting authority, and expected hardware installation date. Moving down in the form, if you have another company that needs access to the system in Enlighten, enter the email address of the administrative user of that company. If there isn't any additional access needed, leave it blank. There's also an Add Authorized Subcontractors field, so if your company is subcontracting the installation to another company, use the drop-down and select an approved subcontractor for your company. Once you've completed the form, confirm that you have read and understood the requirements to create this activation. Finally, click Continue to finish creating the system activation.